The Smiley J Artist Zone, a platform for and about independent artists. Music, interviews, and much, much more. Now, give it up, your host, Smiley J. Greetings, welcome to the Smiley J Artist Zone, a platform dedicated to independent music creators. And I am your host, Smiley J. I just want to, you know, acknowledge all of you guys who are tuning in today, all of my dedicated artist zoners in the U.S. and abroad. If this is your first time listening to the show, welcome, welcome. I am so glad that you are hanging out with me today. All I ask is that you come back and do it again. And uh, you know what? While you're at it, bring a friend or two, okay? Thank you. Yes. Well, you know, guys, I am celebrating three years. Yes, I can't believe it. Time is flying. Three years of the artist, the Smelly J Artist Zone. And boy, oh boy, has it been a fun ride. I've learned a lot about podcasting. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot from the artists on my show because I have a lot of smart artists that come on the show. So I learn from them. And guess what? I'm still learning because I am a student of life. Yes, you got to be out there if you want to, you know, stay smart. You got to be teachable. So um, today, I thought that I would bring my partner in crime here to join me today. Now, you guys have heard me talk about him. He's shy. He's kind of in the background. You know, he works behind the scene and help me out with a lot of things. And he also pushes me, you know, because sometimes I get a little lazy. Real talk. And he gave me a pep talk. He pushed me in and said, keep moving, keep going. So, you know, you got to appreciate people like that. You know, you need people like that in your life to give you real love, tough love. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give him his formal introduction. His name is Kevin Kojo Prince, a.k.a. D.C. Gordy. He is also a musician. He's a percussionist, and he plays with Spur of the Moment Band. Now, if you haven't heard Spur of the Moment Band, you guys be sure to check out their music because they do have a catalog of music, and it's good stuff. So be sure to check it out. So without further ado, let me bring on Mr. Kevin Kojo Prince. Hey, what's happening? What's, what's going up, on? Jane? What's happening, Kojo? Hey, nothing going on. Just, uh... Just the rent. Oh, okay. Well, I can't help you out with that because, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to monetize here. Right, right. But I'm so glad to have you here because, you know, you're a little shy when it comes to the mic. I am glad to be in the zone because usually I hear what's going on in the zone, but I'm with I'm with Smiley J in the zone, which is awesome. And I'm glad uh, to have you in the zone. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, Kevin, can you believe, like, three years Three years. It doesn't seem like it's. I know years. it. Yeah. But we are in sep- the month of September, and that's the month we started, right? That's when September. we launched. So I mean, I just can't believe it. I'm still learning, and I'm still growing, and yes. and I want to thank you for being a part of the ride because it, it means a lot to have dedicated support. Not only my listeners, but it takes a lot to put your show together and you know get artists. So you know, Kevin has been very instrumental, and. I so appreciate that. Well, it's well, it's an honor, and it, it's great to be behind the scenes. I like being behind the scenes, as you as you stated. But I love to see people grow, especially you, Smiley J. Oh my gosh, you have grown so much on this podcast. I mean, from when you started until now. Now I get feedback from a lot of different artists, and they say the same thing. It's always the same same comment. Smiling Jay really does well, inter- really good interviews. It's very hard in this business when you do interviews, like I've done in the past and still do, with Spur and, and other other artists, you hear some of the people that interview and it, it's just not the same, but for some reason you bring that, that energy, that great spirit to podcasting and it's awesome. I'm telling you, only the sky's the limit for you. You're going to take this thing to where podcasters have never been before. And I say that to you, and I mean that, and I know your audience, I know your listeners feel the same way. So keep doing what you're doing. It's going to be a great thing. And you're doing great things not only for your listeners, but you're doing awesome work for your artists. The artists, they're getting a great benefit to them is for you to shout them out and their music be heard worldwide. Come on. I mean, you can't ask for anything better. 
Well, you know, first of all, thank you for that. And let me just make this disclaimer. I did not pay him to say that. <laughs> so thank you. I'm just, you know what, Kevin? I, I just try to be my, my authentic self. And I just had a vision because, you know, I have my small artist management company. And it's a lot of great talent not only in the D.C. area, but worldwide. And everyone can't be on your local radio station. So, and these artists yes. are creating great music. And they are financing their music. Yes. And they don't always have the platform that they need. So I'm like, you know what? Come on the Smiley J Show. Let's get you some fans. Let's expand your fan base and share your music, you know, with some, some mm-hmm. listeners that, that's not already following you. So, And this is very important to the artists. And I know because I'm an independent artist myself. It is imperative that we have platforms like this to elevate us because we have a hard time getting radio play and getting the attention that we that we think we need or we th- or people think we need other even our fans or our, our supporters. It's it's very hard. It's very political when it's coming to get your record played, to get your your music played across across the board. It's very very hard, especially here in America. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again. And those artists out there, y'all keep pushing. We have a platform for you, and we'll never stop doing this as long as we have the platform. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Real quick, before we get into today's show, I want to shout out all of the Internet station who are also playing a lot of these independent artists' music. We appreciate you. Keep playing their music. We work together, you know, so that's Mm -hmm. what it's about. Amen. So, Kevin, today I thought that I would capture some of the shows, um, some of my favorite interview moments. I mean, there are many moments, and of course, I can't catch them all, you know, for the sake of time. Today, I thought I'd capture some of my uh, favorite moments. Some are inspirational. Some are funny. You know, some are personal. We get to learn a lot about the artists. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and get into that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to keep the folks waiting. No, we don't. All right. So, uh, you know what? Ladies first. Let's go with Miss Lori Williams. Lori, you know, she's a, a DMV native, but she relocated to Georgia. And um, we talked about uh, Georgia peach versus mumble sauce. So let's see what Lori <laughs> has to say. So listen, before we go, um, I, I want to play a quick game. It's fun, you know? Uh-oh. <laughs> it, it's, it's fun. You, you know, you're sharp. You're not going to have any problems. It's just called pick one. Okay. That's it. Pick one. You got three seconds to answer each question. If you don't answer in three seconds, I'm going to move to the next question. Gotcha, gotcha. But I ain't worried about it because you got this. All right. Pick one. Uh, Georgia peach or mumble sauce? Georgia peach. (laughs) Sports car or luxury car? Luxury car. Little black dress or little red dress? Ooh, tough. I'll go with black. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you. Ding, ding, ding. She answered all of them. Okay. Now you, now you got me on that peach, but I get it. <laughs> I know. This is going to probably shock a lot of people in the DMV, born and raised, but never had mumble sauce. You know what? Boy, I'm going to have to ship you some mumble sauce because we're going to have I'm, to change that. And, and never did the crab thing either. Okay, so that, okay. Wait a minute. I know, I know, I know. Well, are you allergic to seafood? No, I just, you know, I just never. <laughs> Lori, I'm going to need you to give me my, uh, give me, give me your DMV card. DMV card back, I know, <laughs> right? But it's okay. We're, we're going to fix that. I'm going to send you some mumble sauce, okay? okay? please. That's do. what I'm going to do. Oh, my God, that was funny. We're really going to have to take Lori's uh, DMV black card, and we're going to have to. Ship her some mumble sauce and, and take that peach from her. What you think? <laughs> nah, I won't say that. Once a Washingtonian, always a Washingtonian. You just you just move south and you just, you know, become a, uh, what do you call it? Southern. Uh, a a Southern Belle. Southern Belle. Southern Belle. Is that what it is? Well, she, I okay. think she turned, I think she uh, turned in her mumble sauce for the peach. <laughs> oh, wow. Lord, you call peach us and let us know sauce. which is correct. <laughs> we'll say peach mumble sauce. How about that? <laughs> oh, you know what? Pe- Ooh, that's probably good. That's See, I'm a foodie. Good, right? See, now I want some peach and mumble sauce. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so, you know, um, you know, I love advice because a lot of my guests come on. They are seasoned. They've been in the business a while. When I have those guests who've been in the business a while, you know, I got to ask them for advice, especially for these emerging artists. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know what? Advice is always good. I'm always down Mm -hmm. for some advice. Yeah, now, um, that's true. The next person, really super cool guy. You know what, Kevin? I think you might know him too because you know everyone. His name is Carl Cox, saxophonist. Carl Cox, my dude. Yes, yes. 
you know, you know, Carl is an educator and I think, you know, he teaches music and he's been in the business. Yeah. And he also plays business. with someone. Who is that? Who does uh, he play Mesa, with? Mesa, Mesa, Mesa. Mesa, yes. Yes. That silky smooth voice, Mesa. Yes. So if you've been to a Mesa concert and you see uh, this handsome white guy, that's Carl. <laughs> that's Carl. That's yes. Carl. Family so, man and and just, I mean, he's a great guy all around. Yes, guy. yes. Super nice guy. So uh, let's let's hear what uh, let's hear what Carl had to say. Let's see what advice he had to share. Um, for the, for the students, for uh, let's say for someone out there who is thinking about picking up an instrument, whether it's a saxophone or a guitar, do you have any advice for them? I mean, you've been in the business a while and you just you know stepped out on your own solo career. Do you have any advice for them? Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about that, and um, you know. When I tell my students when they want to go into music, I, I always tell them one thing, and I, I kind of get a feel for where they're at. I said, you know, you don't go into this business because you think you're going to make a lot of money or that you're going to be incredibly successful. You go into this business because you love it and because you want to create music every day. And if you don't want to create music every day and you don't love it and you can't think of anything else that you want to do other than music, that then, then that's your calling. And then music will take care of you if you take care of it and that's kind of where i always you know laid it laid it down on the line for them and um you know i think music has a way of coming back to reward you if if you're always loyal and always trying to create some new things and be honest with it and know that you love it and you're in it for the long haul it's going to come back around and it's going to it's going to deliver some goods you know great advice great yeah. great advice all right. So uh, I yeah. hope, uh, you know, all my artists out there, I hope that you're taking notes because these folks have been in the business a while and this is some really good information. Yes. Absolutely. So let's keep going with the advice. You know, um, this next guest, also very seasoned. She's been in the business a, a while and uh, she's a keyboardist. Her name is Kim Jordan. I think oh, wow. I brought her on for Black History Month. Uh, I don't know if it was this year or last year, but it was Black History Month. And I really like the advice that uh, Kim provides. Wait, you know Kim too? I do know Kim. And Kim is such a, I have, I have a little history with Kim. Uh, I first met Kim when she was the keyboardist MD for Gil Scott Heron, the legendary Gil Scott Heron. Mm. And I met her then, which uh, she, you know, did we from there, we became really good friends. And then, and I understand that, uh, you know, she she started to write music and she was one of the actually she was the producer and writer of uh, the local group here in D.C. The DMV called Pure Soul. Pure Soul. We must be yes. a love song, which is yeah, a, that was a wedding was song. Awesome. Yes, it was I a remember. wedding song. It was actually a top yes. 10 hit uh, and made Billboard. It did really well for Pure Soul and Kim Jordan. Well, you yeah. know what? Kim has been around. She's been in the music business a while. I, I think she also is like the MD of, of one of the local churches. Um, so you know what? Let's hear what Kim has to say. Let's see what advice she she wants to uh, share with the emerging artists. Or you know what? Just any artist. Advice is always good. So let's see what Kim says. I always tell people just be the best you, because there's room out here for everybody. And it doesn't matter what, what your genre is. If, and, and I always have to, you know, relate things back to the creator because we were created in God's image. We will never, you might get stuck at a certain point, but you will never run out of creativity. So you don't have to slam somebody else to, to try to get to a place that you think is your place. No, what God has for you is for you. And it will not be delayed. It will not be denied. You will get there and you will be the best you that you can be because that's your spot. That's your space. So we don't have to fight over spaces musically because the, we're all so creative. Black music is, is just, it, it just keeps evolving. It just keeps evolving and it ain't going nowhere. It's just going to be ever evolving. That's but right. I, I wanted to speak speak that to our young brothers and sisters, you know, because I know a lot of times record industries make us crazy and make us think that we're fighting against each other. No, we're not. No, we're not. You know, what What you have, what God has for you is for you. That's right. See, I knew, I told you, I told my audience that you was going to bring it. I knew it. <laughs> I told you I have very smart guests. 
Thank you, Kim, for that. You know, she was such, That's she was girl. so fun to chat with and super smart. Oh, yeah. And I could just yeah. chat with her all day. I think shortly after that interview, she actually did a concert abroad, um, Gil Scott Heron. Yes, a tribute. Yeah, she did a Gil Scott Heron tribute, I believe. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, it was a great show. Great show. So again, uh, more advice. And you know what? This next artist, he was recently on the show, actually, I think earlier this month. So now, I'm not sure if you know this guy, Kevin. I know you know a lot of folks in the music industry. You I don't know. I got, I got four out of four so far. Four you got four, four out of four, but you know what? Oh, let's see. I, let's see. Who is this? Okay. Who is this? His name is, is producer, musician, arranger, singer. His uh-huh. name is uh-huh. Terrence Thompson. And, ah, um, you know what? Terrence. Yeah, Terrence. I don't know Terrence. Sorry. See, okay, so listen, I'm gonna have to introduce you to Terrence, so you know, so that you guys can know each other. <laughs> yes, now, I don't know Terrence, Terrence, but I would love to get to know Terrence. Te- never, another super smart guy, very you know, fun, easy to chat with, and um, you know what? He gave some advice that um, you know what? I don't even want. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Here, you may hear a hip hop drop. In a jazz, in a jazz cut, mm-hmm. you know, and and that's kind of like if you listen to Heart Exam. I mean, how many how many straight ahead records do you kind of hear like that? Do you got some, you know, a, a tag in the beginning of the track? I mean, not many, <laughs> right? Or at the end, you know, somebody's talking and then it's in a different language. But all of that's just basically me saying, look, I do my music the way I do it, and I don't care what people, you know, I don't I don't care what other musicians or other producers may think about it. I don't care about that. Mm-hmm. You know, because this is this is me. This is my way of doing it, you know? And I absolutely love it. You're doing you the way you know how to do you, unapologetically. I love it. Right, because uh, I'm, I'm, this is the best version of me. It's me doing me, you know? Um, and, and, you know, we all have these things that we push for. There are a lot of people that want to be the best. They want to be the best. But that's very, it's, it's, it's subjective and it's mm-hmm. debatable. You know, mm-hmm. I want to be the best version of myself and give it all every time creatively because I don't I don't believe in just doing the track and just throwing it out. There's plenty of tracks that I've done and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't. No, this is this. I'm not feeling this. I, I will never share this with anyone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what that's I mean? Re- yeah, that's real. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, you know what? He talked about being your authentic self. I think that's very important, you know, because yes, a lot of is. artists. You know, they want to emulate their favorite artist. But you know what? Just be true to you. Do you. You know, do, do you. you. It's all about That's who right. you are. Stay on your craft, but be yourself. So, um, you know what? This next guy that I'm, you know, I want to talk about. Now, he was super fun. He was funny. He was like unapologetically, you know, honest about everything in the music business. So I did ask him a question about, you know, new school versus, you know, old school. What did he have to say? By the way, his name is St. James. He's out of L.A. And, uh, you know, he has um, remade yes, a lot of the 90s that. cover songs, kind of bringing back the, the R&B, slow, romantic, yeah. fun songs that we you know, we kind of grew up with. So let's see what uh, St. James had right. to say about the new school artists. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, those younger artists are are taking elements of old school records and a lot of them are, are, are putting them in their, new, their newer sound, which is which is excellent. But it just showed you that in order to create, they, they they're they taking go back. something from, they got to go back. So mm-hmm. you, can't turn your, you can't turn your nose up at the old school or the throwback when you're using elements that create your sound today. So with that being said, got nothing res- but respect for the younger cats. And I just think a lot of times they just, they, they're misunderstood, you know? So I respect them and, and, and I want them to continue to grind and do what they do, but they ain't touching me when it comes to the R and B. I know that's right. I know that's right. Uh, I'm just yes. Keeping it real. Listen, I mean, you 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 uh, look. You grew up with it. You you, you lived right. it. You know, it's 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 a lifestyle. You know, you live it. For you real. experience it. So yes, I get sir. it. I yes, get ma'am. it. Yes, ma'am. So I'm just so, telling them to keep it real with you. You know, you go ahead and make you do trap so or just the R and B y'all do, and I love it. It's cool. Some of it's great. Some of it's, it's solid. But traditional classic R and B where. There's bridges, there's breakdowns, there's a uh, musicianship. You're, you're you're hearing live instrumentation. Come on, man, stop playing. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. You know what? He kept yeah. it 100. And I mean, you know what? <laughs> that's right. And he has a serious vocal ability. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. And you know what? I think he has a, a independent record label as well. So he helps out a lot of emerging, um, you know, artists. So check him out. Now, uh, you know what? This next guest, you know, I thought that I would do something different. I think it was season two. I thought I'd introduce a little comedy because, you know, folks love to laugh and they love good music. I mean, that's what's going to get us by, a little laughter and good music. So um, I brought on this young lady. She was the first black female impressionist. And um, her name is Sylvia Tremor Morrison. Um, yes. I had a really, really good time chatting up with her. I learned a lot about her because I had never heard of her. And I mean, boy, does she has a story. And, she has a um, great story. And I was just so excited to to chat with someone who, you know, who came up with folks like Red Fox. I mean, she knows, like, all the comedians, so... Um, oh, yeah, and tour, and tour with Whitney Houston. I and, mean, that's just, right. She toured with yeah. Whitney. Oh, my gosh. So, you know what? You're going to have to check out her story. And you know what? As You know, as I said earlier, um, you know, you can check out any of these um, artists. You know, you can go back and listen and, you know, hear their story for yourself. So, uh, I couldn't bring Sylvia on without asking her to, you know, give me a little impression. And uh, let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, now I can't let you leave because I'm looking at the time. Because I, uh-huh. I feel like I feel like I need to do a part two, and I probably will. <laughs> but um, I know that uh, I can't let you leave without doing an impression. And I, I know that uh, you have some spot on impressions from a lot of folks, like you know Whitney, <laughs> Muhammad, Michelle Obama, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, Whoopi. Uh, I don't know, Donald. It's a lot of them. So. I'm going to ask you a question. We're going to do a little role play. You ready? Okay. Let's do a little role play. Uh, let's see who you, let's see. Whoopi. How about Whoopi? Okay. 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 So Whoopi, I have a question I'm going to ask you. You ready? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you listen to music? Oh, uh, look, look let, let, me, let me just say this. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without music. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad to know that you listen to music. So, um, uh, Miss Whoopi, who are some of the uh, some of the old school music artists that you like listening to? Okay, well, I I, I love Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. I just, you know, there's something about Smokey that just smokes. It smokes. <laughs> <laughs> but my all time my all time favorite singer mm-hmm. is Diana Ross. Oh, the Balls. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can you sing any Diana's music, or you you know? Well, you know what? I, I yes, I, okay. I can. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to do it in my voice. I'm going to do it in Sylvia's voice. As okay. 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 Hello, hey, Smiley. It's <laughs> Diana Ross, and I want you to to know that I I love this song, and I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I love singing it. Oh, thank you, Miss Ross. <laughs> baby, baby. Baby, don't leave me. Please don't leave me. All by myself. <sighs> love it. Love it. Thank you, Miss Ross. Yes. Sylvia, I don't know. I'm confused. Who's here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much. You know. Oh, my God. Was that uh, good or not? <laughs> Oh, wow. I, I, I almost thought uh, I was talking to Whoopi. I forgot I was talking oh, to Sylvia for, for a brief moment. <laughs> right. Oh, she's really so good. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, yeah, that was really fun. But um, you know what? I think that we're kind of like, I think we're kind of at a close. And um, you know what? Oh. I can't leave the show without uh playing some music. Well, we so like to do I, that. That's what we're all about, right? <laughs> That's what we all about. And you know what? I think that I want to get into some, uh, you know what? I'm feeling Lori. I love Lori's voice. Her voice is smooth like butter. So let's go in and get into some Lori Williams. Yes. Lori Williams. Yes. Homegirl Lori Williams. Let's go. Oxen Hill Clippers. See, you know what? I'm going to have to bring somebody <laughs> on the show that you, you don't know other than Terry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go in and get into uh, Lori's music. Turn the corner 
Like hearing good music and cool conversations from some of the most talented music creators in the world that you may not hear on your local radio station. We're asking you to help support the show by making a monetary donation, any amount, and your donation is 100% tax deductible. Send by Zelle to the Smiley J Artist Zone at Gmail or cash app us at TSJAZ or PayPal dot me slash Molly J Artisan. All right, all right. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me to the very end. Yes. And I want to thank my partner in crime, Kevin Kojo Prince, a.k.a. D.C. Gordy, who, by the way, has left the building. You know, he had to punch that clock. Yes. He's got to get up really early. But I want to thank him for coming through and hanging out with me. Now, remember, if you want to hear the full interview from any of the guests that were featured today, you guys can always go back and listen because all of my shows are archived. And by the way, just go ahead and listen to any of the shows that you may have missed. I had some really great artists here and always, always good music. Until next time, I'm going to need you guys to be well, stay safe, and remember to listen to good, good, good music. Your ears will thank you for it. I'm Smiley J, and I'm out. Peace.